Good day everyone, this is Daniel from Gardens Cave Designs and today we want to talk about twin siblings. Now I have spoke to a couple of customers and some friends and I even spoke to myself and I came up with a list of twin siblings, Kotak twin siblings. Some of these plants are revered by the collectors and they are very highly sought after. Now I'm going to explain a bit as to what a twin sibling is. Now when a seed is sown from a specific cross appearance um, during hybridization, Sometimes you get different traits coming out of the plants. Out of the baby plants, you get different traits. So I'll explain again. So for instance, you may have two parents coming together and they make children. One of the children, might, the both children might be tall. One might be darker skin, one might be lighter skin. One might be a bit chubby, one might be a bit thin. So they have different traits coming out from the same parentage. So let's take a look at some of these plants that we have here one of my favorites which is freak out now all these plants that we're going to actually show you all today all these plants uh, they come from the same parentage and they have different names most of them would be variegated and the twin sibling would be albumarginated right now another thing with twin siblings as well is that once it is you get a plant like this is freak out right once it is you have this plant it will continue to make freak, freak outs you may find albica variegation um, a couple of generations down, but it's not going to give you eye candy. So these siblings are very, very stable in their production. So this is Kotox 2020 release, uh, Freak Out. It has heavy, heavy cross banding, which is red and cream. I really love this plant, and this is a personal one of mine. Even when you look at the upper leaf, you would actually see that cross banding. So if it is you put it at a height, uh, I mean it looks lovely from both sides. So this one is freak out. It gets to about 70 centimeters So this is one of the plants that we're going to consider a large grower. So remember from 65 centimeters on what 90 centimeters probably a meter and a Third those are large growers. It's twin sibling is eye candy So eye candy is the album marginated version and it's more on the greener side It has the red cross banding and it looks pretty pretty um lovely the leaves are about eight centimeters wide and again these plants are revered by the collectors my pick i prefer freak out because of this heavy cross banding but the both of them are beautiful and if it is you want to get it too no problem let's take a look at this next 2020 2019 piece snake charmer now snake charmer it's very very unique it's very difficult to mistake this plant for any other hybrid Sometimes you might look at this uh, snake charmer and you probably might confuse it a bit with maybe Twisted Sister or Scarface because the leaves twist sometimes but this have predominantly arching leaves so all the leaves have an upward arch it gets to 90 centimeters wide and a lot of people like this plant because the leaves are very broad as well so some collectors like very broad leaves it's twin sibling is king cobra so this is a small king cobra this could get to a massive 90 centimeters which is about three feet this is one of the large growers that we are looking at here guys so it has similar cross banding which is red pinkish depending on the light and it's our marginated so most people would probably go with the snake charmer because i think it's a bit uh, prettier because it has predominantly green and the colors tend to pop a bit more but these are marginated king cobras are a bit more stable so having the both of them once it is you can afford it it's a go in my opinion next we're going to look at 2022 release legacy and legend now this plant has a very nice purple vena and there are a lot of plants similar like uh scotax 2020 release strike force there's one called excellent i can't remember tantrum as well tantrum these plants have a nice purple vena but this is also a large grow. This is the album marginated uh, version of the plant, which is Legacy. And this one hasn't colored up as yet. It grows to 70 centimeters as well. So what you're going to find with these twin siblings is a lot of the times they grow to about the same size. The leaves are the same width. One is album marginated, one is variegated, and they carry different names. These are very beautiful plants. This variegated version may be on the more expensive side. It's a bit more harder to get than its albumarginated counterpart but a very nice plant for the collector so up next guys we have the 2020 releases hypershock and hypersonic 
Now, hypershock is the variegated counterpart of uh, hypersonic, which is the albuminated. Hypershock has a lovely cream background where it is to get a nice checkered pattern on it. Sometimes, according to the lighting, according to the temperature and the humidity, you get different color variations, color variations on it. It's a very lovely plant. It was released in 2020, and you hardly find it um, on sale from different sellers throughout the U.S. Um, for the hypersonic, it was actually even worse. That plant, you only started seeing that plant circulating back in 2022. Uh, the both of them are pretty much good plants, 60 centimeters in width, so they are actually medium growers. They would consider them large because the leaves are very broad and nice, and the plants do stand out from uh, top view and also from the underneath you can actually see the lovely patterns going straight across the leaves as well i once had a hypersonic that gave me like 26 pups probably about 20 was stable and six unstable but it's a plant that produces much once it is you get a good clone from the mother plant so i think that both of these are excellent for the collector two top choices to go with next we have wild rabbit and crazy rabbit now these two plants are small growers. Usually when you look at the pictures that you would see online, they are very compact. They are very compact. They usually have like narrow leaves, so it appears to be big. But these are actually small growers, just 35 centimeters wide. While rabbit and crazy rabbit are some favorites amongst collectors in Trinidad, and I think collectors show the world. These are very old school uh, Spotak hybrids, and they look very astonishing with all these leaves in this compact fan-like pattern so my pick for these two i i really love the boat but i think i probably would go with crazy rabbit crazy rabbit because the cream on that background with the red um markings and the red bandings it is fabulous it's very very fabulous so uh my pick for these two would be crazy rabbit next up we have Hellacious and bodacious, two medium growers, two lovely plants uh, from Scooter. The leaves on these are a bit wide, so the plant has a nice chunky side and they get a very lovely rosette coming out of these both plants. The Hellacious is the Albo, sorry, the variegated counterpart of Bodacious. A lot of people would tell me that they find Hellacious remind them of Christmas, but at the end of the day, I think that a lot of these Scotland plants with this red, green, and white would actually remind me of Christmas. I think my pick for these two are Bodacious because Bodacious is a bit harder to get, and sometimes I like those plants that are a bit harder to get, so I would go for Bodacious in these two picks. Next up, we have Invincible and Notorious. Notorious is a very lovely plant. I actually had a Notorious until it popped straight out. I did not keep any of the offspring. I, I actually sold all. But this is a very nice plant uh, with a cream background and the red. You'll notice that a lot of these Kotax, um, because of the parent plants, a lot of them have like Hannibal Lecter, um, Norman Bates, Carolina Variegated. So you would find some distinct um, traits among the different, um, the different tigers. But notably, what you would find is that the size of the leaf, the spines, the length of the leaf, or let's just say the width of the plant, these are some of the attributes that distinguish each one. I only recently found out that Invincible and Notorious are twin siblings. Invincible is a very nice compact rosette. The both of them are very beautiful. And if you can afford to have the both of them, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Next up, we have Gunsmoke and Paladin. Two twin siblings I showed that you all did not know came from the same Grex. Paladin is the variegated uh, counterpart of Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke is the album marginated part. Paladin has a more compact rosette, and I really like that about the plant. Uh, it have a compact uh, rosette and it's a massive grower, 90 centimeter. Not much scotax you're going to find with this massive growth pattern. 
Uh, so you have like the King Cobra, the Snake Charmer that we discussed earlier. We have the Paladin, and now we have the Gunsmoke. These are massive girls. The Gunsmoke, which is the arboriginated plant, it doesn't have a tight root that grows it as much as uh, Paladin would have. So because of this, I think that I would actually go with the Paladin. And of course, this plant as well, you can see the lovely markings on the reverse of the plant. So you stage this plant from a side on view, from a top view, or even at a view where you are uh, a bit below the plant and it's gonna look very beautiful in your garden. And I just wanna mention one other, Skotak, Scarface, and Alcatraz. Scarface and Alcatraz. Sometimes when you look at Scarface, it will remind you of the Snake Charmer, a very beautiful plant with the red banding. It's a variegated plant. So you have red banding going across the green of the leaves. The leaves sometimes actually um, move like a snake. You know, it actually twists and twirls. And I like that very much about the plant. Alcatraz, you get the same twisting and twirling. At one point in time, I was sold a uh, Scarface, and they told me it was a variegated Alcatraz. Only to find out that it was actually the twin sibling, and not necessarily a variegated Alcatraz. Both are medium growers, um, but I think I would probably prefer to go with the Scarface, just because of the name. I just love the name, and it reminds me of that movie that we all love, Scarface. A notable mention that I would actually make mention of is these two lovely hybrids that uh, Lisa did last year, Lisa Vincent, which would be Lady Marmazon and Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard being the variegated uh, twin sibling of Lady Marmazon. These plants are uh, crossed with seeds from um, Andrew Devonshire, and you know, she did some marvelous hybrids last year and even this year as well. So I really love um, these two plants. The markings are impeccable and the patterns that you would actually find on the leaf. They are just outstanding and amazing. I think I would go with both. So here we're going to look at Skotak's 2016 piece Star Wars, our favorite amongst uh, many of my country mates from Trinidad and Tobago. I think this is one of the earlier places where collectors started actually collecting some of these lovely Skotak Tiger hybrids. This uh, Star Wars is the album originated version, although this may not be so stable, it's still pretty pretty lovely and the white provides an additional accent inside of the garden. It pops amongst the colored uh, bromeliads. This one gets to 50 centimeters, it's a medium grower. So it's not large, it's a medium grower and it, this is definitely the one that I prefer to go with. But take a look at Star Trek. Star Trek is a 2017 release. Um, I think it was developed in Australia from the same formula that is. Uh, this one is variegated. It's a variegated plant and it has this similar red cross banding. Uh, you would find a couple of these popping up in the gardens in Trinidad, but not too much as you would find Star Wars. And uh, last but not least, we have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, a 2017 piece from Skotak. I really love this plant because of the white. It actually accentuates and looks very beautiful in the garden. It stands out. So normally the edges on this, when fully colored up, it would get purple and lovely purple color and you would get red and pink banding going across the green variegation in the middle. Its albuminated counterpart is lightning bolts. It looks similar to, I mean, it looks similar to one or two other Skotax, probably inside Albu from a distance because of the purple that it will get at the same at the end of the leaf. But the plants are very similar in characteristics. Usually one, as I mentioned before, is just Albu marginated and one is variegated. So my pick for this twin sibling here would be Thunderbolt. So now guys, we have taken you throughout our comprehensive list. And at this point, you will have some more uh, plants that you can add to your wish list. This is Daniel from Gardenscape Designs and join us next week for another garden tip. Be safe and be blessed.